Hi guys, welcome to Jammy's Tarot for today by Hecate Honey. This is your collective reading. So whenever this comes up on your feed or whenever you see this, this is the message for you right at this time. Today I pulled the Three of Wands reversed, the Seven of Swords reversed, and the Five of Swords. So with the Three of Wands reversed, this has to do with, you know, the... Um, Usually the three of wands upright has to do with like a new direction. You're gathering like all your strength to embark on a new endeavor. In the reversed, it has to do with, yes, there is a new direction, but that you may have lost something along the way and that you have to kind of restart. Uh, so maybe you had some investment or some idea of what you were going to do and uh, investment of time or money. And now you have to kind of let that go and reassess and gather your strength. Uh, and then move forward. And then with the seven of swords, which usually um, there's always some like deceitfulness or treachery with the seven of swords, but in reversed, it has to do with lying to ourselves. So possibly, you know, you had this investment of time, energy, money in this new direction you were preparing for, and uh, you may have lost it. And now you have the opportunity to be really honest with yourself. So is this new direction something you really want to be doing or something you should be doing? I know I brought up shoulds a few days ago. Uh, that seems like a thread here with this Mercury retrograde of like what you should be doing and really what is your life's journey and life's path. So maybe, you know, you're on this journey and, um, and you have to let go of some old investment <laughs> And then you have to reassess the situation and start anew, afresh, and be really honest with yourself about what you want and what you need and what's going to work with work for you. And uh, the last card is that five of swords. And I just feel like that brings both of these together, like all three of the cards together, because the three, the five of swords is about surrendering. It's surrendering and we may have ego involved. We may have a uh, judgment of ourselves. We may have some arrogance involved that like, you know, we won out, we won the situation, but what coupled with or tripled with <laughs> the three of wands reversed and the seven of swords reversed, we already knew we had some kind of idea about what we wanted to do on this new journey, this new path but that we had to be really honest with ourselves and possibly trash that idea and start anew and like not have that ego involved in this new path. Find what like makes your heart sing, what brings you joy. And uh, that's usually where your path lies, like that purpose, that life's purpose. It's easy. It's easy. I mean, it's hard work, but it's easy in terms of it's something you want to do and something that makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, so, you know, figure out what your journey is, figure out what your path is and uh, surrender, surrender to like a higher power, because if you surrender to this higher power, usually what um, what is meant for us, what is right for us is way better than our little plans and designs that we had for ourselves. So just give into it, take the loss, take the new direction, get ready to take that new leap of faith. And uh, be really honest with yourself. Maybe do some journaling about what's important to you, what you feel good about, what you really want to be doing, and just like surrender and follow that path. Okay, so that's that's the collective reading for today. That's what, you know, the guides led me to, and I hope this serves you. And thank you for joining me here tonight. Um, I'm Hakate Honey, and this is Jammy's Tarot. Bye.